Well, well, the way we get information has changed. Uh, in a hundred years ago, information was given to people through newspapers. Almost everybody took a newspaper subscription. Today, in my county, we have 114,000 households. Of those 114,000, 18 percent don't have the internet, and only t but only 25 percent receive the newspaper. So what's the best way to require public notices? So that's the first conversation. I do think this bill has a lot of work that has to be done because I think we're making an impact to the news media that is uh, significant and needs to be thought out. And, and it is about the cost, but it's also about getting information to people in the way that people are want to receive information. And I think mm -hmm. in our, as our younger generations get mm -hmm. older, uh, certainly electronic information and dist uh, distribution of this inf information is what they're going to seek. So that's so this conversation needs to happen. I don't think this bill is ready to be passed in the form it's in now, but we need to sit down and start the conversation about public notification and how we want to do it. What are your main reservations about the bill? Well, um, you know, there's still a lot of people that get the newspaper and rely on that. There's There's people who use the public notices every day, you know, and, and a whole industry has, has, has survives around that. So we can't just change that so we direct everybody to an electronic resource. So we, but, and we need to be able to talk to the media to find out if there's a way to contain the cost so that it's more affordable. A county like my, McHenry County, uh, just the county government might spend $300,000 in public notices alone uh, just on tax cycle uh, issues. So it is getting very costly to the taxpayer, but is it, the, is it the right way to disseminate the information in a society that is turning more and more to electronic uh, information versus paper information? So, And what about those who say uh, the older generation gets discounted because they don't go on the Internet? And right, and I think, that's I think that's part of what needs to, it needs to be able to ha uh, be worked out in this piece of legislation. And right now, I don't know if this will pass in its current form, but it's a conversation to have over the next uh, year. And, and I think maybe we'll, we'll get ideas from the news media and we'll get ideas from the uh, local and, and county governments and, and try to get our arms around how we can come up with uh, the best way to get the information out. It's a shame that anybody would get caught up in losing their home because they didn't know it was being sold at a tax auction. We had that happen in McHenry County. He didn't n not only take the paper, he didn't get his own mail. He didn't even have a mailbox. Uh, he was very destitute and hadn't picked up his mail, hadn't received his mail, and he lost his home. We probably can't solve that problem, but there are other examples where, where people need to be notified in all different ways, and we need to get our arms around it. Uh, the Illinois Press Association seems pretty upset by well, saying that you're trying to cover, make it harder for people to. Well, well actually, I would want to make it easier for people, and if if they do a good job in convincing us that that's uh, that is uh, what's going to happen here, then I think we need to really look at what is in the newspaper. But I think the whole point here is in a county where uh, you have 114,000 households, if you only have 25,000 households actually getting the newspaper general circulation, but you have 80 percent that are on the internet, what's the best way to do it? And, you know, we need to have that discussion. And, uh, and I'm not actually even ready yet to say that this is anywhere close to, to a vote. So.